assalam alaikum my dear students this is saira wasif from moonlight international publishers i hope my all students are fine and enjoying our digital lectures well great to students kindly open your english textbook developed by moonlight publishers unit number 1 the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam before starting a reading session i want all of you look at the page number 6 there is a picture you have to tell what is the name of this place where is it situated and why do muslim visit this place obviously we all know that this is masjid e nabawi it is situated in madina million of muslims visit this place every year from all over the world this place is actually the house of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam now you tell me what do you know about hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and what do you know about hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's family so yes students we are going to find out the answer of these two questions in our text let's start reading the name of holy rasul is hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is the last rasul of allah he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was born at makkah in 571 ad his father's name was hazrat abdullah hazrat abdullah died before the birth of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam The name of Rasul's mother was Hazrat Amina. She also died when the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was only six years old. After the death of Hazrat Amina, the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was looked after by his grandfather, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib. Hazrat Abdul Muttalib loved the Rasul very much. When the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was eight years old, his grandfather also died. When his dear uncle Abu Talib looked after him as a young boy he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was very truthful and honest he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam always did fair dealings he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam always kept his promise people of makkah trusted him completely for his truthfulness and honesty they called him sadiq and amin Yes my dear students you have seen that the first paragraph is about the introduction of our beloved Rasul Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam we have come to know his sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's mother's name Hazrat Amina and we have also come to know about his sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's father that he was died when holy prophet was born and then we have discussed that holy prophet's grandfather Hazrat Abdul Muttalib has taken care of him and brought him up. Hazrat Abdul Muttalib loved Holy Prophet so much, but he also died when he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was 8 years old. After his grandfather's death, his sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's uncle Hazrat Abu Talib looked after him. In the second paragraph, we have come to know that people trusted holy prophet so much because he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was honest and truthful he always did fair dealings and he always kept his promises so that's why people started calling him with the title sadiq and amin i hope you all have understood first two paragraphs now it's time to move towards third paragraph let's start reading an incident in this regard is better is one or pledge under the tree a pact was made between muslims and non muslims the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam chose to honor every word of it honesty and truthfulness even though some muslims felt uneasy about non muslims tough conditions ultimately the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam succeeded in his mission of spreading islam peacefully And yes my dear students we are done with our reading the text now it's time to move towards our next category and that is critical thinking we have been given some questions in the exercise we are going to recall the text and think critically to answer these questions the first question is why did the people of mecca call hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sadiq and amin 
The answer is in the second paragraph. Just recall the second paragraph of the passage and get the answer. And obviously the answer is the last line of the second paragraph which tells for his truthfulness and honesty they call him Sadiq and Amin. Now it's time to move towards the second question. What do you learn after reading the incidents given in the lesson? Just recall the third paragraph in which there were the incidents of that there is one. And from that incident we have learned that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam honored his words. Let's move towards question number three. Who brought Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after the death of his grandfather? And yes, obviously, his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib brought him up after the death of his grandfather Hazrat Abdul Muttalib. Last question is, how was the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his dealings? Find the answer in paragraph 2. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was always fair in his dealings. Now it's time to move towards the next question. And this time you have been given options and you are going to choose the correct option. First MCQ is, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in A. 561 AD, B 571 AD and C 581 AD. Now recall the text and find the correct answer. And yes, obviously the correct answer is B 571 AD. Next MCQs. The name of Rasul's Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's father is Hazrat Dash. And the options are Abdul Muttalib, B. Abu Talib and C. Abdullah. So we all know that Rasul's father name is Hazrat Abdullah. Rasul's grandfather name is Hazrat Abdul Muttalib. And Rasul's uncle's name is Abu Talib. Next MCQs. For his truthfulness, the people of Makkah called Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Option A. Sadiq and Amin. B. Polite. C. Kind. Recall the text and give the correct answer. And yes, obviously, A is the correct answer. Because of Holy Prophet's truthfulness, the people of Makkah called him Sadiq and Amin. Non-Muslims were tough to the Muslims. So there was a need to have a dash. A. War B. Pact and C. Battle Now recall the text and think do we talk about battle and war in this passage? We haven't. So what is the answer? Obviously, we have read about the pact. What was that? Battle is one. Obviously. So your answer is B. The last MCQ is the people of Dash trusted the Holy Prophet. Option A, Medina. B, Makkah. And C, Arab. And the answer is Makkah. And yes students, we are done with our first competency that is reading and critical thinking. Now it's time to move towards our second competency and that is language focus. In the language focus, our first category is vocabulary building. While reading the passage, we came across many difficult words. Let's explore the meaning of them. The first word is worship and it means to show great respect for Allah, submission to Allah. And the next word is qualities. The qualities means merit. And the last word is promise. And promise means a statement to do or not to do something. And yes students, now it's time to move towards our second question and that is learning to spell. We have been given some sight words and there is a puzzle as well. We are going to search these sight words in the puzzle. Look at the book and find sight words from the puzzle. Let's do it together. The first word is with. That is the first row. This word is in the first row that is already indicated. Second word is they. Find out where they word is written. We are going to join group of letters to make the word they. In the second column, if you see vertically, you will find out they. Let's move to the next word, number. Go to the last row, seventh column and look at this horizontally. And then you will come to know that number 
word is written let's move to the next word people move to the second row fifth column join the next words horizontally and then you will get the word people next word is them third row eighth column look horizontally and then you will get the word them as first row tenth column and then you will get the word as now move towards the next word r fourth column fourth row 12th column and if you will see horizontally you will come to know that there is a word r the last word is may fifth row move towards the fourth row fifth column and if you will see horizontally you will get the word may i hope students that you have completed this puzzle now it's time to move towards filling the missing letters we have been given some words but in these words some letters are missing i will pronounce the word and you all are going to find out the missing words the first word is birth listen to me carefully and fill the blank birth and obviously r r sound is coming when i'm pronouncing birth and r is missing over here so you are going to fill this blank with the letter r next word is worship word shu is written over there so to make it ship we'll add i then it will become worship makka we all know that in the word makka there are two k and one k is missing so just fill this blank with the letter k people p e o p l e people move to the next word man a sound is coming man obviously you are going to fill this blank with the letter a next word is look yes obviously my dear students o is missing over there so you are going to write l double o k look next word is help you are going to write e to fill this blank and the last word is number number obviously m sound is coming when i'm speaking but m is missing over there so you are going to fill this blank with the letter m and yes students we have already done the reading and the critical thinking after that we have completed the first category of language focus competency that is vocabulary building now it's time to say allah hafiz to all of you i will meet you in my next video and don't forget to watch my next video because then we are going to complete this topic till then take care of yourself allah hafiz